everyone, and we're back. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and I'm here with some Let's Play Dragon Age Origins. When we last left off, a lot of stuff happened, and we have a new party member. Let's go talk to the new party member. And we have this guy over here. We'll go talk to him eventually. Hi, Wynn! I love you, Wynn. Hi, Wynn. Oh, I love it's you. Been a long day. Rest. Rest would be welcome. Rest would be welcome. You okay? Yes, yes, of course. No, she's not. I am just a little weary. Sure. As you may have noticed. Let's call it I'm that. I'm no spring chicken. Spring chicken? Um, There's still some life in those old bones, I bet. Thank you. You're very kind to say so. No. But in all honesty, Wind likes me. She I damn well better. I don't know how many years I have left in me. I have lived for such a long time. How old are you, Wynn? something else to do. Yep. And I have to keep going in order to do it. Oh, when? I think I will be glad when I am done. Hey, 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 hey. Don't say those things. We still need you. You're not allowed to be done quite yet. <laughs> oh, no. I'm not the sort of person that leaves things unfinished. Damn straight, when? i this through, I promise. And yet she leaves a lot of things unfinished. Oh. When? I'll talk to you again. Have you encountered many abominations? Wait, oh, hi. From the ones in the Circle Tower? Um, Connor. Ah, yes, Connor, of course. Who we the need to go fix, like now. My blood turned Oops. to ice. <coughs> it was months before the nightmares stopped. It was the really? Because it's not that bad. Become one of them. I killed like fifty of them. Me the most. Oh yeah, and then there's that. Um. But this is knowledge that drives you to be cautious. One slip. All it takes is one slip. That's terrifying. Is simply gone. Being a major would be awesome, but madness. still, Jesus, that'd and be there terrifying. Is no turning back, or at least that's what they say. Uh, you have doubts? Of late, well, I have begun to Connor's wonder, an abomination, and if there is any way an abomination can be cured, or if a mage could be so possessed and still retain their sanity. Well, Connor's an abomination. We're going to fix him. One retains one's humanity, one is not abomination. Yes. It is madness and cruelty that define abominations. Yep. If those are lacking, if the mage remembers the person they truly are, then they are not an abomination. I never saw that. Thank you for showing me another way of looking at I it. I wonder why she's asking all of these questions. <gasps> when do you have something to tell us? So, tell me. Nope. How did you become Oh, sudden... Sudden camera change. She looks about 50 years younger. What the hell? What happened to the textures on her face? All right. I met Duncan and he liked me. Um, Earl Howe massacred my family. Duncan helped me escape. Earl Rendon Howe? Yes. The Earl of Amaranthine? Yes. Why would he do such a thing to you? <laughs> I'm the daughter of Brace Kuzlin, the terror of High Ever. I am important. You are... You are the last of the Kooslins? Yeah, well, my no brother's idea. still... We don't know if my brother's my dead lady? yet. <laughs> my lady. Um, don't. I'm just a Grey Warden now. <laughs> yes, I suppose so. Grey Wardens can't hold titles no yet. Alistair can become can king, you? and I can become that queen, and that's a title. You must forget utterly where you came from. Take heart, dear friend. You survived. Seriously, what happened to her texture? She looks about 50 expected. years younger. We do not know yet what lies in store for you. Game, give me back old win. I want old it's win. Not so bad, is it? Being a Grey Warden? No, it's not. I'm at the love of my life, didn't I? Um, and then I get to my family again. I give it up if I can if I meant I could see my family again. Sometimes it gives me comfort to think that everything will end up the way it's supposed to. That it will be all right. You were not chosen. always you survived the joining when others did not. Perhaps Jory. it was meant to be. It was a dick, but who's the other guy? It was Jory and Davit. Davit, right? Davit, I liked, I think, and Jory was the knight that I didn't like. But they both died. I must ask, what does yes? being a Grey Warden mean to you? Um, well, shit. What's with the twenty questions, Win? We're supposed to be talking about you. Um. Hmm. It means I've been chosen to do something important. There's that, of course. But there's more to being a Grey Warden than killing Darkspawn yep. and saving the world from the Blight. Yep. 
Ultimately, being a Grey Warden is about serving others, about serving all people, whether elves or dwarves or men. You mean to say I serve as a protector? <laughs> yeah, as a pretty Grey much. Warden, you are a guardian of men, and you guard them because their continued existence is more important than you are. Thus, it is you who serves, not they. Oh, I wish I could be served instead. No. I suppose that makes sense. A good king, a true king who cares for his land, uses his power to rule firmly but fairly. <laughs> hey, Alistair, he pay attention. First and foremost, the king who does not do this, who believes that he is entitled to his power, who abuses it and uses it for his own means, is a tyrant. Hey, Alistair, you might want to take notes. Oh god! <laughs> nice Lord of the Rings reference there! I don't want power. I never wanted it. If you live Thank you, Aragorn. Others, and your actions affect only you, then you may do as you wish. But if you have power, influence, and strength, your every action will be as a drop of water in a clear, still pond. The drop causes ripples, and ripples spread. Think of how far they will go. Why is she all the way how on that side of the become? screen? How will they I swear, I think something's the glitched in the uh, but I've lectured enough for today. System. I should stop before I wear out my welcome. Okay, I win. You're quite taken with each other, aren't you? Oh, God damn it! Hi. Uh, yes, quite. <laughs> I've noticed your Alistair and relationship, I. and I want to. Ask that was where quick. It was going. Alistair is a fine lad, skilled in battle, but quite inexperienced Aww, when it comes to Oh, she's so motherly. That's I cute. I to see him get hurt. Um, I mean, not worried about me getting hurt. Um, we're just taking it one day at a time. You are both Grey Wardens, and he is the son of a king. You have responsibilities which supersede your personal desires. Hey, 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 hey. Um... I can. I'm a human being with emotions, not just a gray warden, and I'm love in love is with him. Selfish. Hey! It demands that one be devoted to a single person. Who not necessarily. There is polyamory in to the exclusion other of all relationships. Else. A gray warden cannot afford to be selfish. You may be forced to make a choice between <coughs> saving your love and saving everyone else. Oh shit! Um. And then what would you do? I don't want to have to make that choice. <laughs> yeah. Nothing is certain. I was gonna say, Not why didn't they actually time. give you the choice to choose you between Alistair and the people? Because if it had been that, I would have said I would have chosen the people. This. Okay. Think for myself. Thank you very much. I'll consider what you have said. I'm Diplomatic. Just trying to minimize the suffering that may come to either of you. I have given my advice. Do with it what you will. Oh, cool. I haven't pissed her off yet. What's on your mind? Oh, yeah, now I can actually talk to her. Are you feeling better oh. now? Uh, yes, and thank you for asking. I'm feeling much better today. You better. Maybe you'll get your facial textures back. Um... Please let me know if there's anything I can do. I like making sure all my companions are well. Well, thank you for your kindness, my dear. It's certainly warm. I've still got a little bit of a sniffle. Bones. <coughs> Almost healthy. Hi, Wynn. Still What's talking to you. Mind? This will be titled, The Winisode. Um... I was thinking about being a great warden. Is something troubling you? Uh... This is the best thing that happened to me. Everyone expects so much from me. No one said it would be easy. No! You are one of the two surviving Grey Wardens in Ferelden. Ooh, that you defend all of us. Terrible. And much rests on your shoulders. It may not mean much to you, but thank you for having uh, the courage to continue to fight. Oh, she's gonna make me blush. I'll be ready when the time comes. And that gives me hope. Yay! Win! Like me more! Have you heard much Whoa. about the Grey Wardens of old? Um... Are they sword through the skies on griffins? Griffins. <laughs> Alas. That seems Not to be anymore. the only thing people remember from the tales. The mighty flying mounts that bore the Grey Wardens into battle. 
Oh, I wish I had a griffin. <laughs> Unfortunately, they've all passed back into the maker's hand. <laughs> so that wish will have to go unfulfilled. No, but I want a griffin. Watching the wardens ride in on their white griffins was enough to rouse a weary heart and put the dance back in the step of an old man. The Grey Wardens were powerful, feared and respected, but they also inspired the common people. So I remember they were, a tale that was told uh, to me many years orators? ago. The story of Griffin's in it? <laughs> the blight had ravaged the land for months, and the armies of the great kings had amassed for one last stand. As Which is exactly what's going on now. That boiled and churned in the dark sky above, it illuminated a vast, seething horde of dark spots Ugh. with the archdemon at its head. And it was then, when courage seemed to fail and all lost to death and despair, that the Grey Wardens came. They arrived with the beating of wings like mighty war drums and stood before the armies of men. Uh, what happened to them? The Grey Wardens, grim and fearless, marched forth, ever between the men and the encroaching darkspawn. They formed a shield of their own bodies and held that line until the Archdemon was dead and the last darkspawn lay trampled in the dirt. Damn! And then, demanding neither reward nor recognition for their sacrifice, the Grey Wardens departed. When the clouds finally rolled back and the sun shone full upon the blighted ground, the Great Kings knew that they had lost no men and none of their blood had been spilled. Just the Grey Wardens. This story isn't about a specific battle, is it? Yay for having cunning! You are observant. This is a tale about no battle the Grey Wardens have fought. And yet, about them all. They have always defended us from the Darkspawn. Taking losses so we do not have to. People may have forgotten over the centuries. But nothing has changed. This knowledge has been blessing and burden to Grey Wardens past. And now... It shall be your blessing. Great. Your Darn it. What's on your mind? Yay, I can actually talk to her. As a great warrior, I'll never lead a, lead a normal life, will I? No, you won't. Well, that's blunt. Um. And that makes me sad. You wonder sometimes, don't you? What it would have been like. If your life would be better if you weren't who you are. Yeah. Oh, ha <laughs> Mage. Right. <laughs> a little. When I was a young woman in the tower, I came to the realization that the circle would be my life, and I would know no other. Family, love, a simple life. These were things that others took for granted. And she couldn't have, have because she's a mage, and that's terrible. Grass is always greener on the other side. It made me very moody. <laughs> oh, moody teenager. Was being trapped in that tower with no way out and no end in sight. I started hating my life and myself. <coughs> and one night I found myself in the tower's chapel. I was seeking refuge, maybe answers. It doesn't offer much of either. Um, did you find anything? I must have looked tearful or made some noise. Because the revered mother came out and decided to speak to me. And because I had no one else to talk to, I talked to her. I must have said oh, many silly things. But she told me that the Maker puts us all on our paths for a reason. And fighting our intended course is what causes so much anguish. Oh. Silly timer. Oh, man, that made you feel better? <laughs> I thought the old biddy was full of rubbish. Ha! Of course I she did. 15. <laughs> Maybe 16, oh, dear and I teenagers. knew everything. So I left, but I always found my way back to that chapel. And as the years passed, I began to see the truth of her words. We were supposed to be polar opposites, mage and priest. But we weren't. There was much about us that was the same. What's up, you This is going to make me throw up. That's mean, you, eh? I suppose priests have to give a block to. The revered mother had lived in the Chantry all her life, as I had been in the tower for all of mine. She taught me that you can find your family in the people around you, that you can love your work and find fulfillment in duty. And there is joy even in self-sacrifice. 
If you put others before yourself, then their well-being is yours, and their happiness is your happiness. Huh, that doesn't sound healthy. But you hear me if I say you're full of rubbish? Uh, it won't be easy to live that way. You can scream and cry and be angry about life as a Grey Warden. Or you can accept it and allow yourself to see the good in it. This is your choice. There we go. Yay, Wynn likes me more. What's on your mind? Wynn, love me. Love me. Be my new mother. I will answer to the best of my ability. Cool. Why didn't you want to stay in the mid? In, at the, the tower. circle is in eh. good hands. Irving knows what to do, and he doesn't know. That is not an answer. For now, I will support those that battle the darkspawn. I do feel Wind I left things unfinished in Ostagar. There is so motive. much left to do. How did you get out of Ostagar, by the way? I'm part of it. I'm glad for your company. The Grey Wardens, all two of you, <laughs> need all the help you can. <laughs> the Grey Wardens, all two of I you. I will <laughs> see this through to the bitter end. I've had, that, I've had worse odds. If I am still left standing, then I will return to the circle. I'm sure you'll be able to return if you so choose. Perhaps. Not gonna let you die, Wynn. What's on your mind? Not gonna happen. I will answer to the best of my ability. How did you become- Oh, this is gonna be a stupid question. People don't become mages. They are born mages. The talent just surfaces later. But you are asking how I ended up at the Circle. Yes. I was brought there by the Templars, just like many of the other apprentices. I don't remember very much. I was very young then. Mm. What about your family? I didn't have a family. I never knew my real parents. My earliest memory was of hiding in a hayloft on a farm <laughs> to keep warm. Oh, I was found, Finn. And Finn. the farmer's wife was kind enough not to send me away. But they had children of their own, and I was never made to feel welcome. The eldest son was the worst. He was always calling me a stray and throwing anything he could get his hands on at me. And I don't That's know what nice. happened, but one day he just found his hair on fire. Yes! Fortunately, there was Wins a first epic badass nearby. moment. <laughs> Serves him right. <clears throat> he ran screaming, <coughs> dripping head and all, to his mother. I was shut up in the barn with a bowl of water and a crust of hard bread. The Templars arrived several mornings later. Dude, hopefully they fed you more than that in that time. I'll never forget the moment the Templars led me into the entrance hall of the tower. I had never seen anything so grand in my life. I stopped being afraid then. I knew I was home. You did know it was a pretty tough prison. Um, that's a... That's a great story. Well, there we go. That's about all there is to my tale. Let's be nice. That's how I came to the I may be fans of apostates, but still. What was life like in the tower? I would be lying if I said it was easy. First, there were rules, and we were constantly watched to make sure we behaved appropriately. Then there was the study of magic. We had to cast the spells just so, control the effects completely. A single word, spoken incorrectly, a gesture out of sync, and lack of focus. And we needed to have perfect focus, or we would be in danger. Of demons go- Hey, 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 hey. You want a butter stick? I can give you a butter stick. It's gonna let me inside you. Um... Danger from what? From fade spirits. If we were careless, they would enter our minds. Without the circle oh, and my mentors, Crap, wrong button. I would not have been where I am today. And there was joy in life at the circle. The joys of fellowship in knowing that you were not alone in your struggles. Aww. In spite of everything, I was happy in the tower. And I loved it. There's nothing else I want to discuss right now. Because I just realized I've gone way over time on this video. Okay, my name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and I've been playing some Dragon Age Origins. See y'all in the next video!